All right, the book gives you one definition for titration that you are encouraged to write down. And because you can copy that out of your book on your own, I'm going to give you another definition for titration, just that I kind of came up with with my own words, which may be a little simpler, or maybe the book is gonna make more sense to you. Either one. All right, we're talking about acid, base, titrations. What is a titration? A titration is a method to figure out the concentration of an acid by reacting it with a base of known concentration. And I'm gonna write or vice versa. So if you have an acid and you don't know what concentration it is, how strong this acid is, you don't know the molarity of it, you can react that acid with a base that you do know the concentration of and by doing a titration, which we'll talk about what exactly that is in just a minute, you can figure out then the concentration of the acid. And when I say vice versa, I mean that you can also start with a base that you don't know the concentration of, react it with an acid that you do know the concentration of, and, that, and then you can figure out the concentration of that base. So either way. These are the steps. You begin with the acid in presence of an indicator. Okay, so the indicator would show you by the color that it is an acid. The indicator that you're going to be using in experiment 10.2 is, is uh, cabbage juice. So cabbage juice turns red in the presence of an acid. It's blue in the presence of a base, so it's an indicator. So you start with the acid in the cabbage juice or the in the indicator. Then you slowly add base to the acid. Okay, so remember the acid you don't know the concentration of, that's what you're trying to figure out. And then you slowly add a base that you do know the concentration of. And we'll see the color changes when the acid is neutralized. This tells you that the solution is no longer acidic. Okay, so remember as soon as that solution becomes non-acidic anymore, it's not gonna be red anymore. It's going to be, uh, it's gonna start to turn or it's going to be blue. It's going to be basic. And then after you do that, then you use stoichiometry to calculate the concentration, I'm going to abbreviate that over there, to calculate the concentration of the acid based on how much base or the volume of the base you had to use in order to get it to change color. Okay, keep in mind that the indicator, um, we've, we've talked about indicators before, they are one color in the presence of an acid and then they turn to another color in the presence of a base. So an indicator is very important in a titration because the indicator is what allows you to know exactly when that acid has been neutralized, when the base has completely reacted with the acid so the solution's no longer acidic, okay? Here's another bit of explanation. This is more of like a little paragraph you can copy. The indicator remains one color
red if the solution is acidic. As you add base, the solution becomes less and less acidic until you add enough base to completely react or neutralize the acid. A little bit more. The very next drop, just a drop more, the very next drop of base then turns the solution basic. Now there's a little bit more base than there is acid, so we call that basic. Turns the solution basic, and the color changes to blue. This is called, this is the end point of the titration. Okay? So basically you start with an acid, your solution is red, you keep adding base until the acid is neutralized. So the solution is now neutral. There's just enough acid and just enough base for them to neutralize each other. After that, you add one more, just one more drop of base will turn the solution a different color because then the solution is basic and it will now look blue and at that point you stop the titration you measure how many um how many moles of base you ended up using and then you use the molarity to calculate how many moles of acid were present in the initial solution and you can figure out the molarity we will talk about that more in class you can also read you need to read more about this in your book um, so it makes sense to you in your book. Um, but think about the example of maybe like your stomach acids. Sometimes you can have um, a stomach ache. You know, you have an upset stomach because you have too much acid in your stomach. And what one thing you can do is have some Tums. Tums are basic. So you eat the Tums, which is a base. It helps to neutralize the acids that are, are in your stomach so your stomach is no longer upset. So that's what's happening in a titration, except we're adding very specific amounts of base to the acid because we're interested in knowing exactly how much base is needed to react with exactly how much acid was present in the first time. I hope that makes sense. That's a titration. Doing the example and actually performing a titration and seeing that color change should be very interesting and I hope helpful in understanding acid-base titrations. I will see you guys next time.